Right, so as I was saying, um, yeah, Double DD Survivor works against Macro. Um, at least uh, with their Macro or their Deep Fissure on the field, you'll always maintain field presence. Pretty much. Um, <clears throat> And uh, if Dark Magician ends up in my hand, I could just sacrifice them both to Tribute Summon Dark Magician, play Dark Magic Attack on their back row, and uh, just work from there. Burial from a different dimension. Another card I side against Macro. Yeah, I really hate Macro decks. Sorry, Tom. Um, Basically, if any of my Dark Magicians get removed from play somehow, which is a major inconvenience, I can use this to put them back in the graveyard, so I can special summon it from the grave, then play Dark Magic Attack. A mystical Space Typhoon. Uh, yes, it is a staple, normally, but it, it's alright in the side deck. I mean, when... Ross first came up with the idea for this deck. MST wasn't in the main, so I've put it in the side. Um, yeah, this is, again I've got this for macro decks, so I can destroy one spell or trap on their field. And I've got triple dark bribe. Um, again, for Macro, and Counter Fairies. Now, Counter Fairies always have an answer to everything, hence the name. So, um, I've got this in here, so I can negate their negation. And, uh, against Macro decks, they're likely to protect their back row with bribe or solemn so this will simply just negate their dark bribe or their solemn judgment or even the activation of macro or defissure in the first place A double divine wrath um, now I've only got this in here to side against the one monster in the game which I hate more than any other at the moment. Gladiator Beast Heraklinos. That card hurts this deck. Because <laughs> um, in the main I've hardly got an answer for it unless I can sink for Bronyak, Brionak or even Catasta. But even if I do, they'll probably protect it with Gladiator Beast War Chariot, so this is the only way to the only way for me to get rid of it or get it off the field. Hopefully they'll ban it. I don't care what anyone says, I hate Gladiator Beast Heraklinos. It really really should be banned because it just it's just a cheap way to lock down the opponent especially when it's protected by war chariot two heroes rule twos um i side this to stop two cards dd crow and book of life because if dark magician is in the grave those cards can remove it from play However, a hero's rule two can stop them because the, both cards target a card in the graveyard. So if they try it, I'll just flip. Oh, hero's rule two, leave my dark magician alone. <clears throat> um, that's it, really. Two royal oppressions. I've said it twice on my my own channel. But I really did not want to resort to siding this, but after 
losing a lot of the time to gladiator beasts, infernities, ex-sabers, and even dragons, I've been left with no choice. I mean, yes, it's they can use this to stop my special summons as well, but as long as they can't special summon or swarm the field, then it doesn't matter. I mean, if I can get Dark Magician or a Synchro Monster onto the field first, then that's great. But I'll just see how it goes. And finally, Solemn Judgment, which I've put back in. I, mean, I took it out because I found it was just too risky to use while it's at one. And, and I was only willing to put it back in if... Solemn got semi-limited or put back to free, but decided, well, I might need to run it to kind of act as a fourth dark bribe. Uh, and I'll just side this against any deck which will cause me problems, really. I mean, this can negate the summon of Harak, and it can negate Macro Defissure their own solemn and their own bribes. Uh, that's pretty much it, to be honest. That's how I roll. This is, I find that this is really is the best way to run Dark Magician, to be honest. I mean, the Spellcaster deck was good and effective, but it just got a bit boring, to be honest, and I was hardly ever able to summon Dark Magician. Um, I am open to suggestions on how to make it better, <clears throat> as long as it doesn't, your suggestions don't disrupt the flow of the deck. Because I've told you how the deck works. And I'm not going to put in stuff like Magical Mallets or another Breaker, Kaiku or Exemplar. This is not the deck for that. And Magical Mallet is good, but not for this deck. I want to speed through it as quickly as possible. Um, and as you can see, I'm not running Hand Destruction anymore. I mean, that's a good card, but I only ever got to play it once or twice in a duel and most of the time whenever I want to play it the opponent either has one or no cards in hand which is really annoying and inconvenient so I'm not going to bother running it anymore unless of course you guys still think that I should run it um probably take out Starlight Road, I don't know. Um, but you know what to do, comment, uh, like, subscribe, uh, yeah, subscribe to this channel and uh, the other channels of the Porch Pigeons, and I'll see you next time.